Good morning, episode 5 of the 366 day distance. I'm about to hit legs. <laughs> it's been a tough morning, had a late night, late night last night. But we got back from the gym, went and had a shower, made omelette for breakfast. And it is currently 8.57 and it's nearly time for me to go to one of our properties and get the key from one of our tenants who's leaving. Um, so, yeah, that should be alright. <laughs> I'm at my other, I'm at one of the properties, listen to this. Clip. The last clip was very short. It was basically hailing this morning when I went to one of the properties to sort out one of the tenants leaving. Um, which is another story, <laughs> uh, which has led to me uh, calling 101 and sorting out some stupid business. Um, but yeah, currently getting that sorted out. <laughs> this is what, my fifth, fourth, fifth day in property and I'm already phoning the damn police. But yeah, so I got back, I had leftovers from yesterday's dinner for a meal, about half an hour, ten, about half an hour ago, and I wrote that email to the editor of YPN Magazines, um, so hopefully, hopefully she responds and she likes the idea, I don't know what the percentage chance is that she will, but I really hope it's gonna happen, I really hope it will happen. Because that would be really cool. Um, uh, so I did that. Um, and now I am going to be watching one of the DVDs my dad uh, gave me. And I'm going to make some notes. Um, and just learn, 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 learn. Soak it all up. Um, it's, two, it's a two hour long talk, so I, I better learn something. <laughs> My heart upon my sleeve. I leave my past below my soul. I walk my white ass up the road to buy some cat food at the store. Grab two cans off the shelf. Maybe I should get some more. But I'm living on the go. And plus, my wrist is almost froze. I'll have the butler grab some extra when he come down in the rows. Let him use the car he drove to help him manifest his goals. I'm not playing no emotion. I just think he should know the feel. I'm a fan of by the wheel and feel how easy that bitch stare. We rail, you fake. Window tents and deal the plex. From the stands to the sideline to the reason they can't. From the ones who hold me down to all the birds that just flew To all you rappers who offended like I'm coming at you I give you all an A for effort You should really keep trying It's just a gut check to the fans on all that wax shit they buying Despite the traffic and projections I'm the next thing to blow Back at the property Basically what happened was the tenant that we evicted Put their rent money on the bed Is what she claims But left the window open Um and when I came to get the keys and the money, this window was wide open, and look, there were footprints on the windowsill, and there's a footprint outside. There's a conservatory, can you see? Oh, anyway, out there is a conservatory, and on the outside windowsill on the conservatory, there's like a solid footprint as well. Ooh, burglary. <laughs> so, so far the video is three, four minutes long. Which is surprising considering how eventful today it was, I guess. I just <laughs> didn't really have much to film. Um, but, okay, I, I write down at the end of each day what I've accomplished. So, at 9.20 I arrived at the property. Uh, I did the washing up, left a note saying I'm the new property manager. Uh, I noticed it needed washing up, so I washed it up, but please in the future, you make sure not to leave it like that. However, I'm sure that the washing, that the dirty stuff that was left out was the tenant that we evicted's mess. So hopefully it won't happen again. Then at 10 o'clock, I knocked on the door and tried to get the key. And this is when the whole issue started with the window being wide open, no money, no key being on the bed where the tenant said that it was left. <sighs> Going there again tomorrow morning at 
10 o'clock to hopefully meet with with some officers and do do uh, I don't know what they want to do but just do some stuff with them um, so yeah called the police um, I emailed the YPN editor um, this magazine that I was saying that I was thinking about getting in I emailed the editor I'm going to DM her on Instagram because I found her on Instagram um, as well but on her bio on Instagram it says that she is an investor property investor based in Southwest Wales which is really also very exciting because I think that's pretty much where my campus is for university so maybe it's a contact there I don't know I don't know we're seeing early days early days uh, I got allowed into a Facebook community full of uh, property investors and I've posted twice in there already once showing pictures of uh, the houses our new house is currently being built and second was about the eviction and the police <laughs> I can't believe that happened and I started watching one of the DVDs that my dad gave me made a bunch of note on options which are actually really cool idea to be fair um, it's like a way of using the property without paying for it in a way it's really it's it's cool there's a bunch of DVDs on it so I obviously don't know very much about it yet due to the <laughs> volume of videos and DVDs there are on it so I'm going to have to work my way through that it's currently 7 and 7 what I have left to do is possibly make a program for somebody who's asked for one um, I have to I might start out a Facebook page for youthful perspectives I think that would be the end of the day have a look oh no I need to do the one dollar eighty cent thing on Instagram so I need to do a bit of work on Instagram as well. Grind never stops. <laughs> oh I can't wait for my dinner.